Um, well, thank you, everyone. Good evening. I'll be brief, because I know you're all dying to move on to uh, uh, another uh, event tonight or dinner. Um, but I just wanted to say it's really great to be back here in New York, and especially here at Civic Hall, uh, which is a, a unique uh, community, civic, uh, community center for civic innovators, um, where people with the same core values uh, can come together to, quote, share knowledge, build tools, and solve problems together. And um, I feel right at home here because the engagement that takes place here at Civic Hall mirrors the, uh, the collaborative structure and objectives of the two signature gender initiatives that I was able to launch this year, um, as Gita mentioned, The Future She Deserves and Geneva Gender Champions. So Geneva, as many of you know, um, and it's great to see some of my colleagues from Geneva here in the audience, uh, but Geneva is the operational hub of the UN system. And so our goal is to unite the key decision makers and experts in Geneva into a powerful force for collective action. The issues that we're prioritizing, issues of gender equality, of the empowerment of women and girls, these issues transcend disciplines and organizations and they merit a comprehensive and coordinated response. So what we're really trying to do is, is mobilize the Geneva community and bring everybody together um, to really drive um, progress in these areas. And that's why, um, although I'm the one standing before you tonight, this award really belongs to all of those on my team uh, at the US mission in Geneva and in what's called International Geneva, who have embraced these initiatives and are personally committed to driving real change for women and girls by working together. So I would like to thank the ITU for leading the way. Um, Secretary General Zhao was among the first to sign on as a Geneva gender champion. And um, he vowed to make women's digital empowerment and full participation in the digital society one of his key objectives. And we can't emphasize this enough at a time when the world is increasingly divided between those who have access to the internet and those who do not. For women and girls everywhere, uh, uh, internet connectivity is not a luxury, it's really a necessity and um, information and communication technologies, ICTs. They've transformed markets, enabled the creation of industries, uh, accelerated research and development, facilitated social uh, movements, improved healthcare outcomes, and connected people in ways that uh, were really unimaginable just a generation ago. Unfortunately, women continue to face profound inequalities uh, study after study shows that women are vastly underrepresented in ICT and STEM fields and in leadership positions in the tech sector. And that's why the U.S. mission has been partnering with ITU on initiatives like Girls in ICT Day to try to correct those inequalities. Uh, because I believe that there's really no better way to bring women and girls into the economy and to facilitate their full participation in society than by providing training in and access to ICTs and STEM education. As I walked through the tech showcase earlier this evening, I couldn't help but see myself many years ago, actually many, many years ago, <laughs> uh, when like many of these young women, um, I was a brand new engineer and I was um, spending my time coding although in programming languages that many of you in the room have probably never heard of. Um, but what I was asking myself is, you know, what should we say to these young women, to all the girls who want to code and invent and to really change the way that we look at things? What should we say to the women and girls who see in technology something that gives them not only purpose, but also powerful tools of empowerment? So I would tell them that this award ceremony tonight sends a strong message that we can't and we won't keep women and girls away from science, technology, engineering, and math, and that we will no longer accept the social perceptions that STEM jobs are somehow just for men. 
the spread of ICTs and global <coughs> connectivity has unbelievable potential to accelerate economic and social progress, and importantly, women's progress. And I'm honored and proud to receive this award. And I vow to continue working with all of our partners in Geneva and beyond to accelerate progress toward gender equality. Thank you very much. Thank you to uh, the ITU and UN Women. And thank you to all of our sponsors. Um, and thank you all for coming tonight. <laughs>